As we prepare our hearts for the Lord's Supper, I would kind of like to kind of share and do a little comparison of the Old Covenant versus the New Covenant right now. Uh, when we're reading in uh, Exodus, uh, 20, starting uh, Exodus 12, starting at verse 21. And then, uh, and then Moses summoned them all, all the elders of Israel, and said to them, Go at once and select the animals for your families and slaughter the Passover lamb. Take a bunch of hyssop, dip it into the blood of, uh, in the basin, and put some of the blood on the top and on the both sides of the door, door frame. Not one of you shall go out the door of, of his house until morning. When the Lord goes through the land to strike down the Egyptians, he will see the blood on the top, and sides of the door, and will determine, and then will pass your, your over your doorway. He will not permit the destroyer to enter your house and strike you down. And if you see, once you see, like in the Passover, it was they had to sacrifice a lamb. You know, then all through all through that time, that period of the old covenant, not only did they have to sacrifice lambs on Passover, you know, the fact that they also would have to do it. On a regular basis, they continuing, whether it's lamb, bulls, even doves, whatever whatever they, they could they, they could afford, or in order to uh, have that atonement, it was a continuous thing. Now we come to the time of the of the cross, time of Jesus, when Jesus said it's finished. It was paid for completely. We don't have to we don't have to worry about that. You know, we don't have to have worry about the actually come up with a, with a lamb. I, ma I imagine if, if somebody was kind of squeamish and had to actually kill something, but they had to do that for the atonement of sins. But in this time, we, can, we know that we can take our sins and we can leave it there at the cross and forget about it. Because God himself has forgotten about our sins. There's not one sin that Jesus didn't die for, didn't forget to die for. And with that, could we bring have the men come forward? as we prepare our hearts for the Lord's Supper. The Lord Jesus, on the night that he was betrayed, took bread and blessed it, gave thanks, and after, after that he said, Take eat, for this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same manner, he also took the cup and said, This cup is the new covenant of my blood. Do this whenever you drink this in remembrance of me. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you that we can all come together as Christians. Father, I thank you the fact that never again do what we have to sacrifice an animal and do this on a continuous basis, but rather we can have the eternal gift of salvation through the death and resurrection of, of your son and that our, our sins have been paid for once and for all. I ask these, this in your name. Amen.